Good afternoon, Redeemer family, and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our first reading, our first reading for the Festival of the Reformation. And the first reading for the Festival of the Reformation is Revelation chapter 14, verses 6 to 7. Revelation 14, 6 to 7. Then I saw another angel flying directly overhead with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. And he said with a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. <clears throat> You know, I, I want to take us to the, the point where this is written and then jump ahead to its prophetic fulfillment. You see, the book of Revelation is prophecy. And as the book of Revelation is prophecy, in the words of Doc Brown from the Back to the Future series, that is future history. And uh, especially for us who believe in the truth of God's word and its uh, fulfillment in reality. Uh, you see, God fulfills every promise. He is absolutely faithful. And so as he gives us this promise in Revelation, we see its fulfillment. And the way it is interpreted as being fulfilled is in the, the time of the Reformation, through uh, Dr. Martin Luther. And we hear that in the words of that another angel. Listen in verse 6. Then I saw another angel flying directly overhead. And But here's the real key to that understanding. With an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth. You see, at the time of uh, Luther, we had the Western church who had departed from the gospel. They had departed from the gospel and salvation was not coming through the gift of God's grace through faith. It was coming as uh, it had to be bought. It had to be bought through indulgences. It had to be worked through, worked for, through good works. It had to be done in all of these ways and more. And if it wasn't done, then time needed to be spent in purgatory, hundreds and thousands of years spent in purgatory until the sin was paid off. That's not what the gospel is all about. The gospel of Jesus Christ is first by grace through faith. You see, the grace of God is the gospel. You see, that gives him glory. It doesn't give glory to money. It doesn't give glory to the person doing good works. It gives complete glory to God. Complete glory for everything that Jesus did on the cross, which was payment in full, and everything that he gives us by faith as the Holy Spirit works faith in our hearts and calls us to that faith and then we receive that gift of grace by faith. And see, this is all revealed to us in God's Word. The truth of God's Word is what reveals this. And that's what the book of Revelation is. The truth of God's Word, future history. Future history from John's standpoint as he recorded the book of Revelation in you know, somewhere between 80 and 90 AD. And as we hear that, uh, we recognize that this is when John you know, was on the island of Patmos in exile and was receiving these revelations directly from God. This revelation, and that's a single revelation, was given by God to John so that he could tell us what was going to happen. Maybe in a figurative and a metaphorical and picture language, 
but it is prophecy in reality, prophecy of what would take place. And that prophecy fulfilled in Dr. Martin Luther bringing the gospel. You see, the center of everything that happened in the Reformation was to get people the gospel. And it was the start of bringing people that gospel message in their own language. You know, the German people didn't have the Bible in the German language. All they had was Latin, or they had the original in Greek and Hebrew, but nothing in their own German language. And so when Dr. Martin Luther translated the Bible into the German language, it was that first translation into a language other than Latin or Hebrew and Greek. And so that was a gift, bringing that message and the start of the movement of bringing the gospel and God's word to people as it's described in verse 6, to, to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. You know, this is what we see in, in the work of Bible translators today, particularly the Lutheran uh, Bible translators that go into many countries around the world to, one, develop a written language, and then, two, record or, or translate the scriptures into their own language so that they can read their own language or hear it for themselves in their own language and come to know Jesus Christ in that way. See, this gives God the glory. And that's why it says in verse 7, he said with a loud voice, fear God and give him glory. Not man, not his works, not his ability to pay with work or money, but giving God glory for the gift of salvation. Because the hour of his judgment has come. So we can't rely on our own works, our own abilities. We need to trust in God to free us from an eternal judgment that will send us to eternal punishment. And to worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. You see, God gave us the gift of the earth, but we worship and glorify him for the gift of our salvation that he gave in Jesus Christ. And the gospel, which Luther again brought to light when it was lost, brought to people, started by bringing them God's word in their own languages, so that they could know and hear the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ and the gift of salvation he worked for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us recognize the gift of your salvation is just that, a gift. It is given us by your grace without any merit or worthiness in any of us. It is given by your grace as Jesus worked it on the cross and by the empty tomb. It is given as we uh, are called to faith by your Holy Spirit and believe in you. Strengthen us, we pray. Strengthen us in our faith that we may receive this gift with joy and take it to heart and be strengthened by it and give you the glory for all that you have done to give us your salvation through your Son. In his name, amen. Have a blessed Tuesday, all, and we hope to see you tomorrow and Wednesday for tomorrow's devotion. Have a, a beautiful and blessed day. To lead that soul to be